Good afternoon, my name is Randall Rader from Public Works Stormwater Drainage, and today we're gonna to be going over the International 4300 uh, semi-automated rear loading refuse truck. Um, for the purpose of this, uh, we're just gonna go through the operation of the rear controls. So you're gonna to have to uh, refer to a class B CDL inspection of a dump truck for the, uh, for the truck portion of this video. All right, obviously before you can operate the rear controls, we gotta turn the vehicle on and engage the PTO switch. And we're gonna go into the cab to do that now. All right, so enter in the cab. First thing we need to do, start up the truck. Then we have two switches on our control panel here we need to make sure is on. First, our PTO pump, we're gonna engage that. And second is gonna be our throttle advance. We're gonna flip that up so in the uh, rear we can use our throttle advance for uh, added power. All right, now as we move to the rear of the vehicle before inspection, one important thing to remember is uh, safety. Because you're gonna be operating out on the road, you need to remember to have your reflective vest on and your uh, hard hat as well. All right, so back here we're gonna check some of our basic hydraulic hoses. Uh, just like on every other piece of machinery, looking at the hoses for any leaks, any uh, excessive dry rot, and any cuts. We're also gonna check our uh, fittings to make sure that they're tight and they're not leaking. We would do this on both sides of the, uh, the vehicle. All right, so now going through the basic controls, um, our lever that is right here on the back, uh, on both sides, is gonna control our lifting area, all right? You pull the handle out, you see it'll lift it up to dump the trash can. And as you push it back, it'll lower it back down. All right, our main controls for inside. Our top handle is gonna lower it down. Our bottom handle, if you pull it out, will open up the blade. All right, obviously pushing it forward is gonna close your blade and it will lock down in place. Scooping everything up into that blade. And then pushing your slide handle all the way in and it'll pull it all the way up. All right, once it gets up and packed, it will stop in place. All right, um, now if the truck was to be full, um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the basic operation of how to dump it. For the purpose of this video, we are actually not gonna dump it because it does have uh, some trash in it right now. So we're gonna move over to the side of the truck and show the basic controls. All right, so the first thing, on either side, you're gonna have your tailgate locks. They're manual, lift it up, you would unscrew it halfway and keep going until it's uh, all the way unlocked. Remember, passenger side and the driver's side right. both. All right, now that we have the tailgate unlocked, um, we have our tailgate lever. We would pull that all the way up, all right, which is gonna um, raise the bed and the tailgate. And then we would lift the ejector up, which is an internal cylinder, which is gonna push all the refuse back out the back. All right, in reverse, obviously we would want to push this down, which will pull the cylinder back in, push the tailgate down, uh, handle down, which will drop the bed and lock the tailgate back in place, and then move to the back and manually put the locks back in place. All right, that's gonna conclude our basic operations control of the International 4300 semi-automated rear-loading refuse truck. Um, again, remember, for the inspection purpose of this truck, refer to the Class B CDL dump truck uh, inspection. And thank you and have a great day.